What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Cable Line Network here. Can you guess what I'm doing? I'll just give you a second. Chilling out, Max now doing my thing in my newsroom. How's it going? All right, guys. Now, in today's video, we're basically going to be talking about Pluto being not the last planet in our solar system. Hmm, there could be another one. And for those who say that Pluto is not a planet, F off. Galileo was the main one who said that. Well, he was the only one that really backed that up. I'm not going to take the words today, scientists, over Galileo screw you anyway now the planet's name is nicknamed planet 9 it has a mass of about 10 times that of earth and orbits about 20 times farther from the sun than neptune which means it we um could take this new planet between 10,000 to 20 years to make just one full orbit around the sun jesus christ 10 year 10,000 years for one year holy hell so if you're living on this and you're born you will literally, literally not be, wow, you will literally not ever be a year old until after you die. <laughs> Jesus Christ, your bones will not even still be there when the thing makes a full turn around Earth. Jesus. Now, basically, researchers um, Batian and Mike Brown haven't actually seen the planet, but other researchers helped lead them to conclude that there is one. Basically, they found that certain objects in the Kepler belt, the field of icy objects and debris beyond Neptune, had orbits that um, peculiarly pointed in the same direction. Over time, the mathematical modeling and computer simulation led them to the conclusion that a planet was exerting the gravity um, necessary to shape these orbits. Brown says that there has only been two true planets discovered since ancient times, and this would be a third. It's a pretty substantial chunk of our solar system that still is out there to be found, and it is pretty exciting. So how the hell did you guys find planets that were a billion light years away, but you couldn't find something that was in our solar system? I'm not going to say anything else. All right. Now, basically, Caltech is pretty confident Planet 9 is large enough to rule out any debate whether it's a true planet, unlike Pluto. Oh, my God. I hate it when they said this. Pluto is a damn real planet. What makes you think it's not? They said it's a dwarf planet. No, it's not. It's a real planet. Stop, oh, stop all that bullshit. Stop it. Seriously, the scientific community ruled out Pluto, and it just kills me. I'm like, really? Seriously, how can you can't rule that out? It is a planet. Did you gonna say Galileo was lying this entire time? Bullshit. All right. Now, depending on where Planet Nine is in its bizarre, highly elongated orbit, many telescopes have shot at um, you know, finding it. Brown would have loved to find a planet he helped discover, but he also is perfectly happy if someone else found it. This is why, um, basically, they let all the information out to the news because they really want somebody to at least find what it looks like. All right. Guys, put in the comments, what do you guys think about this?